So if I say electrical resistance, so it is for conductor or non-conductor or insulator or something else? I think it's for conductor, I guess. So it can be either a conductor or a resistor, but every object that conducts electricity has some resistance. Yes, it has some resistance. Some has more, some has less. Let me see. So it is a Let's talk about conductor first. Or well, even in this our chapter, we will study only about conductor, not insulator or a semiconductor, because it, we will study that thing in twelfth. Okay. So it is, let's say, the electrical. resistance of conductor is an obstruction, what you said by positive ions in the of in so what happens when actually what is happening here and there are free electrons in some conductors so they are ready to lose some from atom Okay, so they are readily, they are always ready to lose some. So that's why that flow will be more easier. Okay, so, so as many as uh, ions we have, that many there will be free electrons in that. So let me write a point so that you will remember. Um, any conductor, let's take any conductor. As, as many positive ions as which has three electrons so the flow will be more prominent so if i draw a solid here so This is your flow of current from here, somewhere here. It starts moving randomly. This, this side, flow of electrons. So what is happening here? Electrons continuously collide with positive ion. So it is continuously collides with positive ions in conductor. So SI unit, let's talk about SI unit. Resistance is Ohm is denoted as a symbol, Greek symbol, Ohm. So, how to define the same way? 
one. Okay, let's first study Ohm's law, then we'll derive this one, define this one. Okay, so what is resistance? Have you understood, right? Resistance which what? Is that obstruction in a flow of current. So what is obstruction? Positive ion. For conductors, there are positive ions. You understood? What is resistance? Am I audible to all? Yes, sir. Then let's study your own. Sir, yes. I have a small doubt, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, what collides with the positive uh, ions like, you, you wrote above, right? Yeah, electrons. Okay, sir. Yeah. Electrons collide with positive ions. Yeah, see, yeah, we wrote here. Uh, There are some conversion, we'll see that later. First, let's study Ohm's law, then we'll talk about Ohm. This is very easy. What is Ohm's law? If you have studied, you can answer. So what is Ohm's potential law? Is directly proportional to the resistance. Okay, yes. Is my voice breaking or is it clear? It is yes, sir. Yes. For me, your voice was a little bit breaking when you said. Yeah, sir. This alternative to share. Okay. Ohm's law states that. Potential difference across Cross conductor is current in it, but here we are keeping one condition. At constant temperature, at constant temperature, we are not going in detail about temperature right now. First, we'll discuss Ohm's law. Now, there is a what does it mean actually? See, it states that potential difference across conductor is proportional to current. So V is proportional to I. So I need to remove this constant, proportionality constant. So I write here V by I is equals to R, which is constant. Now, what does this person mean? It is a constant value of any material. How we got this constant? By ratio of V and I. That means, we are taking different different values of V and I. We are getting same value of R. It means that as we are taking values of V and I, those ratios are remaining constant. That is R. If we get a straight line like this, that is conductor. If 
we get line like this, oh, not exactly this way. I cannot draw properly. This is the eye graph. So ratio of this one will get uh, R. So means V divided by I is R value. So if we get same values here, R, then we will get this graph. Because these ratios are same, two by two, four by four, five by five, or whatever value it is. So R is constant. So what is R? R is the ratio of V by I. So R is fixed value. And if, it, if we are getting this condition, that means it is conductor. Now for For insulator, not for insulator, for semiconductors. This is for semiconductor. We are not going to study this one. We will study only this one, conductors. I just gave you small information, that's it. So until we understand perfectly what is this one, then only we can go in detail about other topics in this one. So that is for Ohm's conductor. This graph is for conductor. See how it is varying here. Just I'm showing you this both so that we can compare. See here. This graph is linear graph. See? R is linear. So if it is linear, it is called as Ohmic graph means which follows Ohm's law. How can we say this is following Ohm's law when we are getting linear graph? If we are getting linear graph, that is following Ohm's law. But suppose in some case, I have one question here. See, it is not exactly this way, it is a little bit tilted. So this each point values is changing. So it is called non-ohmic graph for resistance. Or resistance is what actually, see what do you mean by resistance actually? It's a resistance is the property of resistor. What is resistor? Resistor which you see that small, small devices. Okay, even we can say that this things which we have fan, tube light or uh, whatever we are using, laptop, phone charging, whatever it is. This all are type of resistor only. It's a device, this all are device which is used utilizing current. This all are type of device which is utilizing current. Right? So those all are a type of resistor. And resistor has a property which is resistance. Just now we wrote about resistance. 
okay. it's a property of any conductor which obstruct the flow of current understand what is resistance and resistors everyone yes see don't get confused because these two words you will get so many times when you are studying something we you will use so many times these words so clear it now itself this is your basic time clear your basic now itself so that it will help you for 12th or any other grades so can you just write it sir definitions for those both definition in the sense which we wrote already what is it resistance here yeah. okay so every time yeah so resistor is a device sir, why are we only saying uh... why are we saying what Why are we saying for only conductors even? No, first we are studying about conductors only. Yes. And plus, conductor has more number of free electrons as compared to semiconductor. If we give example of semiconductor, see the sil silicon and germanium, and compare it with copper, and same way any other insulator. Compare with the insulator. The properties are different. That, okay. So, so we are using conductors here. We can use semiconductors also. Okay. So it requires like uh, semiconductors we are using for like little amount of current. If we want very little amount of current, we are using that. Especially uh, voltage regulator. in those things okay. yeah <laughs> so are you clear with this linear graph yes sir yes sir okay. yes sir then let's talk about devices devices used to measure voltage is voltmeter for current current in a circuit it is ammeter okay so generally voltmeter has least count as 0.1 voltage and ammeter also has 0.1 ampere so what do you mean by least count do you know what is least count no sir see you can go with the words least what is mean by least low one me oh, yeah lowest count means the number yeah How much we are counting? One, two, three, four. Means so on. So minimum count of voltmeter is point one. Minimum count of ammeter is point one. This is standard values. Some might have point five also. I'll show you some voltmeter. Even in your school also, when you go for lab, you check. It has point one. Point, mostly. Sorry, school laboratory. It will be the same point one for both. But if I show you here, how does it look like? Voltmeter. Yeah, I got it. Okay, this one actually is not our school one. It's a standard one, 
and this is ammeter. So what least counts means this value is 0.1, then keep adding, but not in this case. Okay. In this case, tell me what is the least count for this ammeter? Come on. Zero. Zero. No, no, no. Least counts means this first, what is the first term? What will be the first value here? So I'm shading here. So how to how to count this? So it is like five units each. Five. Not five. See how many are there? One, two, three, four, five. Five so units. Ten right? units each. Ten, ten units. So unit ten divided by five. Two which is two. So this is two, four, six, eight, ten. Same way. Twelve, fourteen. 16, 18, 20, yes. 22, 24, so it is so on. Understood? So least count is this minimum value. Yeah. Now tell me about that this voltmeter. The voltmeter distance. I'm sorry? The so voltmeter distance. No, sir. It's a shred. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Now see, there are how many values here? Wait, let me just change color. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. Correct? Yes, sir. Same way here. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Like that. So this is five and we have first digit as 10. So 10 is divided into five times. Five. Mm -hmm. So this is the first scale gives you two okay then if i keep adding two plus two four plus two six plus two eight then ten yes it is following that yes. same way 12 14 16 18 20 yes it's coming yes got it yes. super so same manner what is the least count for voltmeter tell me think and tell me calculate this one if do you want me to zoom it ten Yes. Shall I zoom it or it's visible for everyone? Visible, sir. Sir, it is 10. It's 10. For those who are using phone, for them, let me zoom it. Oh, no, 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 not this much. Wait, wait, wait. Are? Yeah. What do you think? What will be the count here? 10, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what yes, will be sir. this term? What will be this term? This one, first and second. 50. 50, 100, and 150. So 50 is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, yes. Oh, yeah. So which is 10. So each is 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 means 50. Yes. Correct. It is correct. So minimum value means least count for this voltmeter is how much? 10. 10. And least count for this ammeter is 2. Did I have two or four? Two. Yeah, correct. So voltmeter looks like this, which has symbol V. Ammeter looks like this, which has symbol A. Okay. Now, as we gave okay. this one R, Let's find the unit of this one. We saw voltmeter, ammeter. We wrote here R equals to V by I. Volt, uh, resistance, voltmeter, voltage by current. Means potential difference by current. So how we write this? Resistance. 
equals to potential difference P by current. Uh, so its unit SI unit is ohm. So if uh, R is equal to zero, then what will happen to potential difference? It will be infinity. Sir, but uh, substituting in the V is equal to IR formula, we, I will let V is also See, zero. See, right? understand first. What is resistance? Just now we have one definition. It yes, is resisting the flow. Of... Yeah, it's ability. Yes, right. So if it is not doing, then 100% current will flow, 100% that voltage will be available. So it will be going till infinity, so which is not possible actually. There will be some resistance of everything, even when you are using your battery, right? Actually, even battery also has internal resistance. We are not counting that right now. But battery ha also has resistance. And when they are making battery, that time resistance will be low. But slowly, yes. slowly, slowly, we are utilizing so its resistance increase. We don't want yes. a resistance value. So, one ampere. Okay, make a definition similar way how we made for ampere, ampere and volt, voltage, one voltage and one, one ampere. Make a definition. Yes. We'll give a definition for one more one ohm. Try come on. So, I don't know. Try it. So can you repeat? Make a definition for one ohm. Similar way how we prepared for how we give a definition for one ampere. We when one, one yeah. it's like when one volt of uh, sorry when when the ampere current passes through an uh, object of one voltage. Okay. The Resistance is said to be one ohm. Yeah, very good. Any 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 other way? Anyone else? Come on. Yeah, uh, yes, I got it. When the potential difference between two terminal of a conductor is one volt and the current flowing through it is one ampere, the resistance is one ohm. Super. Very good. Very good. Krishna, you try. Now, Yukta, Yukta, Sri, try. Yeah. Yes, we want to try, yeah. Yes, sir. Sure. So I can. Yeah, sure. I think it'll be the same definition, though. No problem. Uh, the potential difference across two ends of the conductor is one volt. Then uh, the current and the pa current passing through it is one ampere. Then the resistance is said to be. Okay. Deepshika? Yes, sir. Try it. Go and try. Deepshika?
Yes, I can hear you. But no, not. I'm here. Yes. Try definition. Try defining. Come on, come on, quick, quick, quick. Ania. Uh, yes. Yeah. Resistance of a conductor is said to be one ohm. This uh, one, uh, if a current of one ampere flows through it, then potential difference of ends is one ohm. One ohm. That is said to be one ohm. Yes. Simple. Next one. I was asking. Anyone, anyone else want to try? Sir, it's correct only, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Akshara, Aditi, Argo, anyone want to try? Sir. You want to try defining? Yes, what? Try? Sir, uh, you are saying something? Try defining one ohm. Sir, one ohm is the unit. One ohm is, uh, ohm is the unit of uh, resistance, sir. And then one ohm is defined as one, uh, one unit of uh, electric potential, which is one voltage divided by one ampere. For uh, one ampere. Very good. Very good. So let's define this simple way. Uh, as you all said, let me combine all the things. When potential difference of one volt. Carries one ampere current one ampere current has resistance of one ohm. As resistance of one ohm. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's take some simple question first. Something when two volt is potential difference across a conductor currently 
vector is 0.4. What is the resistance? Sir, what is the current? 0.4 ampere. 0.4. It is five ohms. Five ohms. Exactly. It's very easy. R equals to V by I, which is two divided by zero point four, which is <coughs> five. Five ohms. Similar way, if I give one more ten ohm resistance, it is connected to a six volt battery. Find out how much. Sir, two by three. Current. Sir, two by three. Two by three. Which is two by three, which is zero point three three three. Exactly. Eight. Not two or zero point three three three. Wait. It's two by three. Two six by eighteen. Huh? Zero point six six. Oh yeah, sir. Three uh three six by eighteen. So it will be remainder two again six. So this point six six. Wait, sir. But uh, isn't six by ten supposed to be three by five? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, so three by five. Two and five. So three and. Yes, sir. Point six. Zero point six Okay. Now let's uh, let us discuss about resistance and its dependency. How does it depends? This is most important topic. Now let's say factors. Affecting. Resistance of conductor. First thing is length of the conductor. Yes. Depends. The first one depends upon length. Length or area or whatever. Okay, you want length? Okay, let's start with length. So length, area of cross section, and then uh, temperature. Yes. So how does it depend upon length? If I'm taking two materials, same material, nickel wire or any any wire, same material of different length, provided same battery. So in this all things, all this length L one, L two, L three. So this length three is higher than this one. So R is directly proportional to L. If all are directly proportional to length, 
because see it, then then this r if if we say here longer the resistance wire greater its resistance. Let's take L1 here, L2. Why it is happening? Longer the resistance, longer this one. So current is inversely proportional to R. That means in this one, current will be higher. I, if I talk about I, I will be more I1, I2, I3. Here, R3 is more than R2, more than R1. Yeah. So this I one I didn't understand. So I use... I means if I draw a complete circuit here. Huh? Wait, let me draw a complete circuit here. For the first one, it was small length. If I pass a battery, if I connect battery and pass current here. Let's name it as I1. I1 passing to this wire. Yes. Of length L1. So in that current will be more as compared to L2 wire and L3 wire. In this one, I1, I2, and I3. So but L3 is greater than L1, right? Yes, the length is greater. See what we wrote here for the definition of resistance. See that? Where is it? Where is it? Huh. So it is obstruction. <coughs> Sorry. So longer the obstruction, less will be the flow. Longer the obstruction, longer the resistance, so less will be the flow. Yes, sir. So that way we can say that I1 will be greater than compared to I2 than compared to I3 because okay. length of 1 is smaller than length 2, smaller than length 3. Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Clear. Okay. So second one, it's dependency upon area. on area of cross section now here what we are assuming like same length then the same area different. Oh, <clears throat> is it possible length is same, keeping length same and area different? How is it possible? If length, length is same, area is differing. That means what is changing? What is changing? How we can say that area is changing? Right. Somebody say something? Yes, exactly. By diameter or thickness. By diameter or So let's consider a similar way. 
three things which same area, sorry, same length, but different area. So voltage which is applied in this one, let's name it as A1 and I1 flowing through it at A2, I2 is flowing, A3, So in all this, V is constant. Let's take V same. So current will be differing. I3 will be more than I2, more than I1 in this case. Why? Same length and it got broader. Yes, we can right. take some. Yes. Became thick. So now in this case, I and R are inversely proportional. So what will be R then? R3 will be less than R2 less than R1. So thick or thicker the wire, thicker the wire, resistance will be less. Exactly. Very good. Less are the resistance. Resistance of conductor. And thinner the wire. More more the resistance. Yes. Or greater the resistance. Everyone got clear with this one? People? Yes, sir. So with this one, we found that R is inversely proportional to area. Okay. Then let's combine this both. R is proportional to directly proportional length, inversely proportional to area. So for removing this, we have proportionality constant that is rho L by A. And rho where rho is does this T it is constant. Constant value of material. Every material has constant value of resistivity. Now let's find out unit of resistivity. How to find unit? Rho equals to R into A by L. What is unit of R? Ohm. So it is ohm meter. Yes. Area is meter square by meter. Meter, meter. meter cancel. It is, is ohm, ohm meter. Yes. Very good. So SI unit is? Ohm, ohm meter. meter. It's not minus, it's dot. Okay. Sir, I'm asking you to scroll up, sir. Sure, sure. Which one? This one? Yes. So, shall we have a quiz? Yes, sir. Is everyone ready for quiz? Yes, sir. Yes. Sure? Yes. Is there anyone who doesn't want quiz? No one. Oh, that's great.
let's have some basic question first this time. <clears throat> No, not this much grade. This is second grade now. This is my pictures are better. Okay. I think this is better. With power ups? Sir up. Yes. Yes, dear, whatever. And once can you scroll down sir, to the last point? Sure. Yes, sir. So here, do we have any difference between resistance and resistivity? Sir? Yes, we have. Okay, sir. We'll write difference between those. Yes, sir. Yes, Yes, go on quiz time. Join. <laughs> Shreyan, join. Very good. Still some more to join, whatever. Yes, with quick, they're not able to join. Sir, what is the code? Code one eight four zero seven three. 